Right, hi, I'm the Morlander and this is Morlander EDC. Coming to you today from the outdoors. Uh, as I'm on furlough for a few weeks, I thought I'd step back out into the moorlands and embrace my heritage and soak up my, some energy from the ground. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just nice to get out. Uh, what we are here today to look at is the Helicon Tech Bushcraft Satchel. Now, I've been using this for the last two or three weeks, mainly been using this for EDC, but you know, as it as the name gives away, it's a bushcraft satchel. Uh, so I thought I'd come out and we'd have a look at it out here. Before we start to look into it, a few details, if this is the first time that you're on the channel and you like this, then please feel free to hit that like button. If you're returning, then it would be awesome if you'd like to subscribe and hit that bell notification. But before we continue, here's a word from our sponsor. Ooh, oh, hi. It's not really a sponsor, but Amazon have sent me a link to three months free Amazon Unlimited Music, 70 million different tracks, unlimited skips, playlists, and so on, and there's no obligation to stay. So once the three months is up, if you want to cancel, you can do. If you don't want to cancel, carry on. You might be in a country where you're in lockdown over Christmas. A bit of music might make it a little bit more interesting. Or maybe you're just bored of all the music that you have got. You want to try and find something new. <laughs> you know, let's get raving. Great. Thanks for that raving mad Moorlander. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so let's get into the bag itself. This is the Bushcraft satchel however i've actually been using this uh, for edc mainly for the last two or three weeks and it it works perfectly for that but i'd be doing an injustice if i didn't bring it out and show you exactly what it can do for your bushcraft needs however if you look past this because it says bushcraft i, I think you're missing a trick you really are this makes an excellent edc style satchel crossbody shoulder bag um, so it's from Helicon Tex. As you'd expect from Helicon Tex, it is bomb proof. It, it really is bomb. It's, it's very, very, very well made. All of the plastics on here are Wujin plastics. Um, it's made with Cordura. There are, I'd say there's probably about 12 to 15 different colors. This is the adaptive green. You've also got OD green, you've got coyote, you've got black, there's gray, there's multicam, there's uh, woodland. I think there's flecton and a couple of other different um, camos in there as well. There's pretty much everything for what you need. If you wanted to use this more of a, an EDC bag, there's also a nylon version, which is a little bit denim, a little bit Shania Twain, but you know, some people might like that. Um, I've checked on the website, as far as it says uh, the material, it just says Cordura, but by the feel of it, it's still quite light. It comes in at 300 and 489 grams. Um, it feels more like a 500, so it's still, quite, it's still very tough, you know, it's a 500D Cordura, so it's super tough, but it keeps it nice and light. It also means that it's nice and malleable. I've got lots of stuff in here at the moment just so you can see what I can pack into it. Um, but when there's less in here, it fits and it just hugs the body really well. Dimensions wise, it's uh, 30 centimeters by 32 centimeters by 17 and a half centimeters deep, which comes in at roughly, uh, roughly, <laughs> it comes in at 17 liters. So you can fit an awful lot in this bag. On the outside, as mentioned before, the construction is fairly simple. What you have is a single piece of cordura that wraps all the way around this one bit here, and then you have the two side parts stitched on. So it makes it very strong structurally wise. All of the stitching is super tough. Um, there's box stitching where you'd need box stitching. There is um, a one inch piece of webbing that runs all the way around across the bottom and the side. Um, and that is um, triple stitched in there to make sure that that doesn't come loose either. The way that they are also stitched in is the stitching is every uh, two inches or so, so you can get that nice daisy chain effect if you want to uh, lash anything around the outside. 
the bag is pretty much symmetrical so whatever you have on this side is mirrored on this side so I'll do the sides first what you have are two pockets here on the side so whether you carry it on your left hand side or you carry it on your right hand side they're easy to get to the first pocket is a full pass through so if you want to put a knife in here that's a little bit longer or maybe you've got a, uh, a hatchet or something that you want to put in there or an axe it will pass all the way through which makes it really easy to carry same on the other side to the right of that you then have another pocket which has a bottom so here where you can see where the stitching is the stitching's just not gone all the way across here whereas on this side the stitching does go all the way through and then down the center you have some more stitching which is then stitched into this webbing that goes all the way around so flashlights anything that you want to keep on the outside here is really easy and accessible there are also four columns and two rows of PALS webbing just in case you want to put anything extra on there. Now as I mentioned, I'll flip this over but I don't need to go into it in too, too uh, great a detail. You have exactly the same, this is the pass through and then, oh sorry, that's the pass through and then that is the, uh, the actual pocket. There are two compression straps or at least one each on each side so if you have something in there that you want to put in to make sure that it stays in nice and tight you can add some compression to that to make sure that it doesn't get out on the front here or at least I'll call this the front there is a large pocket that goes the entire width of, uh, of the bag itself in here you can see I've got some butt wipes I've got Altoids tin and uh, um, I've even got my mobile phone. Oh no, they're dog poo bags. I've got my mobile phone in here as well. So you can fit quite a lot in and you can see how far it goes down. It goes roughly down about nine inches, which is what? That's about 18 centimeters. Um, it's just super useful for just banging stuff in that you need to get. For, for an EDC wise, I have been able to carry a laptop in this. So being able to have my cables and maybe a mouse in here has, has worked really well. On the flip side, on the back, it's a completely clear panel. Just to make sure, which um, you know, I assume that this is why it was done. Because there's no zip on there, it, all, it means that whilst you're walking there is no wear, there's no abrasion other than the fact that this is made from Cordura which is quite hard wearing. On the bottom, as I previously mentioned, you know, there's nothing on the bottom. It's a very flat, empty bottom, but you still have this continuous one piece of webbing that goes all the way around the pack to give it some extra support. One of the things that I usually do when I get towards the end is I, I like to think and I, I like to ask myself if there's anything that I'd change about this bag. And it's probably the bottom. As this is a bushcraft bag, you know, Bushcraft bags you take off, you put down, you put in mud, you put in water. There's, there's no extra sort of protection here on the bottom. It does have some coating on here which makes it water resistant. So you know, you, you do get a lot, the water just beads off. However, that does disappear with time if you needed to wash this or you need to do something with it then um, that water resistant would disappear. If they put something across the bottom then I think that would have helped however I completely get why they didn't because it just makes it a very very simple construction across the top you can see that there is one large zip that goes all the way down the best thing about this is it has that wide mouth kind of construction so it goes up here into where the straps are you also have uh, ambidextrous zips so you have one on each side and these are YKK zippers as well which just make it an absolute breeze to open. At the end of each of the zippers you then have uh, a small garage that you can put one of the zips into if that's the zip that you don't particularly use as much so it just makes it easier to lock that away. What it also has is um, these little ring pulls which is 550 paracord which has just had the centers removed uh, and then there are some um, shrink ties on there to make sure that it's it's easy to get to. Uh, I have tested this out, <laughs> I used it for a day, um, I've got some gloves on and it, it just makes it so much easier to, uh, to get into. 
The strap on this is excellent. So you have Wujin plastics, which open and lock really nice and tight. And this is a one inch, one inch buckle that then opens out into a two inch strap um, or a 25 millimeter buckle that opens out into a, a 50 millimeter strap. As far as length on this is concerned, it's a lot. There, there is a lot here. Partic personally, I like to keep mine as close to my body as possible, so I have it on the smallest one, and it fits me just right. Now 17 litres is just right for this. You can fit in the essentials. It makes a very good companion bag. This rolls completely flat when it's not being used, so you can put it into a larger pack. But if you're out on just a day hike, or as I mentioned before, if you're using this for EDC, you can fit a lot in. So I'll take these out, but this just gives you an idea of what I've brought with me today to do this recording, plus I've put in some extras. So I've got um, a couple of pouches in there. Here's the leader pouch from Tasmania Tiger that I reviewed the other week. That fits in perfectly. Uh, also got in there, you know, in the day and age that we live in, we all need to make sure that we've got face protection. So there's a gas mask in there as well. Also for some emotional support, just in case you get lost, there's Teddy. So he fits in and you can fit in a lot, as I say. Um, when I've been using this for work, I've had my MacBook Pro in here and it fits. Granted, there's absolutely no drop protection in it whatsoever, but you can fit a laptop in here. On the sides, you have these two large pockets. Now, they're on both sides perfectly enough so that you can fit in some hydration and some uh, camping equipment as well. So in here, I've got a 750 milliliter billy can and on this side as well have a 750 milliliter bottle as well you can fit in quite a lot what I'll do now is is I'll turn it inside out so that you can see the construction on the inside so inside as well you also get a, uh, a mesh pocket with a large zip on there so that you can get into things easily. I found this is super useful for EDC with keys, that sort of stuff. But if it were that you wanted to keep something in there, at least rather than having it on the inside, outside pocket, then you can put stuff in here as well. And it's, I mean, it's reasonably big. It's probably about 18 centimeters by about 15 centimeters. And the rest of the bag, as far as organization is concerned, there's no organization in here whatsoever, apart from these two side bag, uh, these two side pouches. And that's, again, normally I'd be like, oh, no organization, but with this, it's just great. It's just a big dump pouch. So if you're out foraging, you can put stuff in there. If you're, if you're using it for EDC, maybe you've gone into town, it's a city break, you wanna dump some food in there, you put some water in there. You know, there's a lot that you can do with this and it makes it incredibly versatile. I know I go on about stitching quite a lot, but the stitching in here, as you'd expect from Helicon Tex, is perfect. It's absolutely amazing stitching. Here you can see those extra stitches. These are the stitches that run on the inside. All of the seams are reinforced. Here you can see on the side, here on the bottom as well. Everything is brilliant. Last little thing that's in here, it's just a little bit from Helicon Tex that just gives you a bit as far as uh, looking after it's concerned. Now if by this point you're still wondering whether or not I like this bag, I've hoped that I've made it exceptionally clear that I love this bag, it's brilliant. If you're thinking of getting one and you're unsure, just get one. I think anyone that's into bushcraft, anybody that's into EDC, you owe it to yourself to have this bag. It is a great bag. There's, you know, I pointed out that bit at the bottom. That's the only thing that I think is that lets it slightly down. But if you're very cautious and careful, you make sure you're hanging your bag up rather than putting it down into huge puddles, then yeah, just get it. It's a brilliant bag. I love it. Double thumbs up from the Moorlander. Now, Helicon Tech, I know you're watching. I know you're watching. I've got a suggestion. Hear me out, hear me out. Okay, it's like Dragon's Den, right. This is the bushcraft version. What you need to do is make a urban version, which is part of your urban range. Have it exactly the same, but 
there's a few things that it's missing. It's crying out for a hook and loop panel across the front here. I've got that yellow Helicon Tech square and it's just screaming to be added onto here. So if you'd had that on the front there, this is the urban version, or maybe you could call it the moorland version. That, would, that sounds ace. Then, as we're going in with the hook and loop, on this back panel, move the net um, pouch onto the front, and then on this back panel, have some more hook and loop on the back as well. For those people out there that want, would possibly want to use this for CCW, or put something in the inside that would give it some you know, extra organisation, having that hook and loop on the inside. I mean, you've already made the, the versatile um, hook and loop systems yourself, so to have it on the inside here would be perfect. The last thing, and I think this would be the game changer, is the strap from the Urban, urban um, Messenger carrier bag, courier bag. This strap is the best strap I've ever used. Heck, just ignore what I'm saying about this. Sell these separately. Like an idiot, I got OD Green. I should have got the grey version because it matches this. Having this on here to have this as an urban carry pack would be amazing. This strap is great. This strap, it's like it was sent from the gods. It's amazing. So that would be my idea for an urban version of this satchel, the Moorlander Urban Satchel. Brilliant. Um, and we're coming to a close. So thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this content, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more from me, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. The bell notification is just as important. Um, there are some affiliate links in the description below so that you can see more about Helicon Tech. There are affiliate links that you can use to purchase these packs. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but if you choose to use those affiliate links, I get a small kickback to the channel, which helps to um, helps me to get more things to review. Uh, and don't forget the word from our sponsor, Raving Randy, at the beginning, uh, if, you, if you choose to use that as well. Uh, anything else? Yeah. Um, Look for me on social media, I'm on Facebook, I'm also on Instagram, I tend to be on Instagram a hell of a lot more than I'm on Facebook, uh, so look out for me at Moorlander underscore EDC, and for now, stay safe, stay Moorlander, and stay EDC.